let's move on to this Dodgers series. I have a very interesting statistic to start out with this one because I think many Padres fans are really upset right now. So I think this will make you guys feel a little better. So right now we are 10 and 10. And if you bring back the clock to last year, three games later on in the year, the Padres were 11 and 12. This was coming off of a sweep against the Diamondbacks. And if you guys remember that series, it was where there was no offense. That was the whole problem. There was no offense. Only only Tatis was hitting. This time we're coming off of another sweep. Both of these series, or both of these, uh, at these points of time, the Padres were both going to be going into a four-game series. Uh, and for the Padres last year, it was the Rangers series, and it was a series where Slam Diego was pretty much born. And if... Somehow, if if there's anybody that has some hope, if that could somehow happen, even not in a in a sweep, but just to get that fire going again, if that could happen against the Dodgers, I, I think that's the best the best thing that could possibly happen to this team. I would be ecstatic if they went three and one against the Dodgers right now, the way that they've been playing, and I would probably guess that they're going to go one and three. But at least if we if we look back, we can see, hey. Last year, we were in a similar situation, and then boom, the switch flipped. I expect it to happen to this Padres team eventually, but I, I don't think it's quite yet. So where, where are you guys on on where I'm coming across? You guys think that, that Slam Diego is going to come back? I, I don't expect Slam Diego to come back, but I do expect some offense to be revived. You know, last Dodger series, you know, we sort of did get the bats going. We scored, I think, 11 runs in three games, which was a lot better compared to the last – few series that we had you know they sort of bring it of intensity when they play the Dodgers and we have probably our four best arms going against them we got Weathers and Darvish Snell and Musgrove this will be Musgrove's first time facing the Dodgers in a Padres uniform so be interesting to see how that goes Weathers held it down for almost four innings he probably should have held it down for things but hopefully we can see him go longer this time around and you know get five or six innings and you know still keep the Dodgers down, you know, as long as those bats keep, if the bats come alive, then I can see us at least splitting the series. But I do think we need to win this one. At least we need to win at least three games, if not sweep. Yeah. Um, I'm going to try a reverse jinx here and say, we go one and three against the Dodgers. Cause every time I say we're going to win a series, we tie or we lose. <laughs> so I'm going to try and do a little, you know, different kind of thing here. Um, this is going to be another exciting series. You know, we're all very excited for it. This is the, the you know, everyone thinks it's like an NLDS, NLCS preview. Um, th this is the best rivalry we got going in baseball. Uh, so everyone's pumped for it. I'm pumped for it. You know, Dodger fans are pumped for it. Um, we got the best. These are the best pitching matchups I can remember. They're the exact same as the last ones. But now you had Musgrove on Sunday on ESPN against May. Like, does it get any better? You know, um, well, these guys say need to hate. I gotta, I gotta interrupt you. I would say it definitely could get a lot better. I do not want to watch Dustin pay. Dustin may just light up the Padres on on primetime television. So I, I have to disagree with you on that one, Isaac. Yeah, uh, mentioning Dustin May, we were talking about it before this. The reason he says that is because Dustin May dominates us. I don't know why Dustin May dominates us. I remember one specific pitch where he threw a two seam inside on Manny and made Manny look silly. And that was kind of the whole thing throughout the whole Padres lineup uh, when they faced Dustin May. But very exciting series. Very pumped to see it. Hopefully we hit with runners in scoring position. We got to take three. I only expect us to take one. Uh, again, that's just a reverse thing because I have some positivity in me. But, you know, hopefully this, this series goes our way because we really need to win. We really need to show that we're the real deal because everyone's starting to say we're overrated, and I, didn't, I don't want to see that no more. No, I, I like it. I like it. And – I think that if we are going to get a spark, it's definitely like like you were saying, Chase. Like what you really want to see is the three to four wins. Like that that's ideal. But the Dodgers are playing fantastic baseball right now. The Padres have had a bunch of injuries. I uh, just talked about the Nelson Lamette injury. Obviously, Tatis is really banged up right now and kind of going through some adjustments with his swing. So I'll, and and the pitching has been fantastic. But the Dodgers pitching, I think, is number two in baseball. And right now we're the best. So it's not like there's this far off. And I think that's kind of how it was last year, too. If you just flipped it, the the, pot, the Dodgers was the best. And I think the Potters was the second for quite some time. I think that if you can just split this series, it's just another time that we've kind of seen like, all right, this, you know, this is a pretty even matchup or maybe not even because the Potters haven't 
beat them in like a meaningful series, but it will kind of just provide something for the Padres where it's like, all right, we, we, we took at least two from the, the Dodgers. Now let's start winning some of these series against some of these teams that aren't as good. So I definitely hope that we see a win, but I think a two, two split is at this point. I think that's a victory. I really do. Um, and, and you brought up Dustin May a little bit. I actually went to Dustin May's debut, which was against the Padres in LA. So it was pretty cool to see that. And the Padres won that game, but May was still nasty. Don't get me wrong. He's always nasty against the Padres. So that does suck that he's the guy on Sunday because, I mean, at least we got Musgrove out there because I know Musgrove is going to come out there and pitch a good game. So that's exciting. Um, happy that these are the four starters going. Weathers, Darvish, Snell, Musgrove. I think those are our best four right now. So happy that we're rolling them out. Um, on the Dodgers side, they got Bueller, they got Kershaw, Bauer, and then May. So probably their best four against the Padres. Um, we don't have to see Urias with it, which is nice because we know that he is very, very good. Um, and we were talking about him, that he's just another another arm for the, the Dodgers just to kind of show off their depth in, in the pitching department. But I, I think that this is – it's just fun to watch this heavyweight matchup. Really exciting that the Padres actually have a nationally televised game. It has been quite some time that we've seen them on the, the Sunday night baseball game. But, but what else What else are you guys thinking? What else you got for me, Chase? Uh, you know, looking forward to Machado then hitting another – couple of hits off of Bauer. Hopefully one's a home run so he can just continue that dominant streak. And, you know, Bauer kind of came out of him on Twitter and be like, oh, my God, this was like the furthest, you know, missed ball off this curveball that he threw. And I was like, really, man? Machado got two hits off you, and they were pretty solid. I don't I don't think this is the time to be boating that you got a swing and a miss. You didn't strike him out or anything. He was two for two. So, you know, looking forward to Machado to sort of put one in there again. I'm ready for a Tatis breakout. I, I cannot count how many Dodger fans were like in a Padres community kind of thing, or whether it's on social media, whatever it is, that kept saying, uh, we overpaid Tatis, he's overrated, this and that. I think the perfect series for him to break out is this one. Not the best pitching matchups, but if he could do it, you know. And like I said, like we said in a different video about Tatis, we're not expecting it. You know, we do expect his new swing, his new, you know, just his injury to take some time to to adapt to. But overall, very excited to see this series again. You know, we're next time we're going to see it is in June. That we know that this is going to be the best baseball we're going to see when it comes to the Padres and the Dodgers. This is the new rivalry that baseball is needed. Uh, we know that the old rivalry of the Yankees, Red Sox, that one's pretty played out. I think Jim Rome said that on his show. He has a very good show. I've been watching him, his uh, his takes on the Padres Dodgers series, and he was saying how that's how we're the new Yankees, Red Sox. Like, how exciting is that? You know, this is Southern California's rivalry. Um, but I think I said it in the last Dodgers Padres preview. I want Joe Musgrove to get a win against the Dodgers because he always said how he grew up, you know, going to those Dodgers Padres games, chanting BLA. So hopefully he gets to BLA. So, yeah, I think that's probably going to do it for, for today, but I really do hope that Joe Musgrove does get that win Sunday. And I, I hope that the Padres are able to win this series. I mean, they need it now more than they ever have. Hopefully, that kind of spark comes this series. That would be fantastic. You brought up Tatis that, you know, we've kind of said that it's, we got to be patient with him, but even if it's just not necessarily power or stuff like that, but he's just hitting a few singles, running the bases really well, making some great fielding plays, not making bad decisions, poor throwing decisions. And in, in this series, cause that last one was brutal when he had that error. that was probably the worst timing that you could have that, but let's hope that they kind of get a spark going and, and let's hope that they're able to beat the Dodgers in a, in a four game series. Cause that would be, that would be huge for this team right now. They're, they're struggling a little bit. Um, and we were talking about it a whole bunch in the recap. So if you haven't watched that, make sure to check that out, but I think that's going to do it for today. And thanks everyone for listening. We'll talk to you guys soon.